In this video, we will be taking a look at how to access and use the Capture on the Go online demo account on the OL Learn website, as well as how to use and process the information on the Capture on the Go mobile information. So step-by-step -step instructions if you want to try out Capture on the Go without having to install anything on your computer. The easiest way to do it. So the first thing you need to do is to access learn.objectsiflun.com and this is where the magic will happen. So if you do not have an account already, you can sign up directly. All we need is a username, email and password and you click on sign up and the account is created. I already have one so I'm simply going to log in first. And once you're logged in, you need to head to your profile page. Now, step number one is that you need to enter your name and company. We are going to actually use this in some of the documents and the emails that we send you. So just type it in, click on update. This is private information. Nobody else can see it unless you share the documents that we send you. Next, we head to the Capture on the Go demos section. Now, in order to access Capture on the Go on the mobile application, normally you would need to go on the repository which you need to get first, create an account, and that is how you access it. What we're doing here is we are creating an account for you on our repository on which we can add the documents. So click on Create Account, and as you can see, there is a username created here for you automatically. It consists of your learn uh, login at learn.objectiflearn.com. This is what you need to log into the application. And then you need to go ahead and choose a password. Now, this password is shown as plain text here because we need to be able to give it to you. Um, but again, it's not shared and we don't actually use it anywhere else. It can be different from any other password. We don't really care about this. Once the account is created and the password is set, all that is left on this page is to add some templates. Most of these templates are the same ones that you will find in the create template wizard from the welcome screen in Connect. All of these that say author objective Lun, those are the same documents. There is also the Acme bill of lading document. It's essentially just a document that demonstrates uh, picture taking, note taking, GPS, signature, you know, the basic stuff that you want in a capture on the go document. You can add a document by clicking create and this actually sends a copy of the document to the mobile application. You can create many copies of the same document, which can be filled separately, and you can add as many documents as you want, basically. Those will all show up in the application. So now that the account is set, we are now ready to use it directly on a mobile device. Uh, so let me set up the camera to show you the mobile application and we'll be right back. So now we have the uh, phone ready to set up. I'm using Android, but the instructions are pretty much the same on iPhone or Windows 10. Um, so in my case, to install Capture on the Go, we go under the Play Store and we are going to have to look for Capture on the Go right here. And we have this Go application, which we install. And that takes a few moments. Once it's installed, you can click on Open. And once the application is open, we put in the login credentials that we had on the OL Learn page. And with the information entered, we click on Login. 
So the Capture on the Go application, when it opens and you log in, will automatically uh, download the documents that you have. So I've added the two bill of leadings and the timesheet. This is available in the repository and they're also downloaded automatically to your library. So if I open the bill of lading, that opens up the document. Now the document might look a little different if you have especially a bigger tablet because it is a responsive document, uh, meaning it will of course adjust to the screen size. So I can check a couple of options here and I could take a photo and of course, I'm looking at a table, so I'm just going to take a picture of myself. Okay. Crop it, modify it, and save that. Once it appears on the document, I can add some annotations. There we go. And enter notes, emails, and you can see that we have signature here and the date selector and all of that. So when we click on submit, what that's going to do is to send the information back to your uh, demo account on Learn and it's going to send you an email with a PDF attachment that you can access and use to view the results. So let's get back to the computer. And now that we are back on the computer, if I refresh this page, we will actually get the uh, PDF button. We can view the output from this document directly here. So the options that I checked have yes. And then we can see the picture of my nice little face here looking at the ceiling, smiley face, the signature, everything that's there. We even have a uh, map button to show you exactly where our offices are located in Montreal. That's fun. So um, there's also an email that's sent. So I'm just going to log into my email secretly here and show you what that's about. And this is what we have. So you receive an email. Like this one is a little different than the other ones you would receive. Um, the other ones have a little more details inside of them. And then you can click on this link here to access the same PDF that we had before, which of course opens in a different window. So it's right here. Once you have your documents, you can view the PDF here and you can also delete the document. So if you delete a document from this list here, it will also delete the PDF. So if I hit F5 on here, it no longer exists. And this concludes our presentation on the Capture On The Go online demo. If you have any questions or issues with this demo, please uh, send an email to cotgdemosupport at ca.objectsifflin.com. The email should appear here. Just click on it and it will be our pleasure to respond and help you out.